it is 6 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, November 28, 2023. Let's stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'll call the common council meeting to order. Roll call, please. Middleton. Here. Varga. Varga. Here. Here. Romano. Romano. I know she's there. We'll come back. Weagle. Here. Crowder. Here. Jennifer, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. There you go. Okay. Okay. So, for the record, uh, both uh, Councilman Varga and Councilwoman Romano are here virtually, um, and so we will be doing voice votes tonight. First up are the minutes from our last meeting on November 14th. I did notice one correction uh, that I sent to Rosie, but that was under the uh, mayor report. Uh, Pell is spelled P E L instead of P E L L. Um, and then it should say planning and environmental linkage study. That's the only thing I thought. Were there any other changes or corrections from anybody? No? No? Anybody online? No changes? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, then can I have a motion to approve the minutes uh, with that noted change? Good. Yep, you're good. No. I'm getting feedback from you, Jennifer. Good. Second. Motion by Dan, second by Jenny for the discussion. Okay, we'll go to the voice votes. Jenny? Okay. Dan? Yeah. Walt? Okay. Jennifer? Approved. Tad? Okay, it is unanimous. Next up is the 2024 Employee Salary Ordinance Second Reading. Do I have a motion to read by title only? Okay. Second. Motion by Jenny, seconded by Dan for the discussion. Okay, we'll go to the voice vote. Jenny? Approved. Dan? Approved. Walt? Approved. Jennifer? Approved. Dad? Approved. It is unanimous. Please read ordinance number 2023-20 by title only. Ordinance 2023-20, an ordinance to be known as the 2024 Salary Range Benefit Ordinance. As you will remember, uh, this is the second time we've read this, but this is for all the non-elected officials, uh, the employees, if you will. Uh, it did incorporate the new positions that were approved in the budget. Um, besides that, any change or any questions, comments, concerns about Ordinance 2023-20? Hearing none. Okay, I'll have a motion. Uh, can I have a motion to approve Ordinance 2023-20 on second and final reading? So moved. Second. Motion by Dan, seconded by Jenny. Further discussion? We'll go to the voice vote. Jenny? Approved. Dan? Approved. Walt? Approved. Jennifer? Approved. Chad? Approved. It is unanimous. Next up is Ordinance 2023-21. Do I have a motion to read by title only? Second. Second. Motion by Jenny, seconded by Walt. Further discussion? With the voice vote, Jenny. Approved. Dan. Yeah. Walt. Approved. Jennifer. Approved. Tad. Approved. It is unanimous. Please read ordinance number 2023-21 by title only. Ordinance 2023-21, an ordinance fixing the annual salaries of all elected officials of the City of Columbus City, Indiana, effective December 30th, 2023, for the year 2024. Do you want to talk about that? Okay, what this is is just the elected officials on it, and it was with the 4% that you guys actually have to do. So that, so that matters yeah, what we gave to the employees, yeah. and that's across the board. Yeah. Okay. So, any questions, comments, concerns about the ordinance? No, I, I guess. <coughs> so. Go ahead. No, they, they both said no. So go ahead, Dan. Okay. Well, uh, when I'm looking at this, I'm looking at uh, totals coming from different areas. And when I add this up, it 
seem to be different than what we actually did. Is that true? I mean, I've added this stuff yeah. up, and in my head, it's like... I don't know. I, I would like to see what our total weight is. For this year? Yeah. Or for next year? For next year, yeah. Yeah, I have these two up, and they're both, you know, different than what I think the total amount is that we did. For the year. Yeah, for the year, yes. Yeah. Okay. I was just kind of curious about that. I always wondered if that was the total amount that I thought it was added up. Actually, I thought, I, I thought we were getting more than that. But, uh, you know, I know there's some stuff down there that's wrong together. You told me that So the 345 bi-weekly ends up being 89.70 is, is basically the base. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm 89.70 is the base okay. with the new, within the new structure starting 2024. Okay. And we did not change the structure. The state. Okay. Yeah, that's what you want. Okay. Because I know in the past 16 years, we voted for not having any type of raised level level. Yeah. Outside of the okay, 27th yes. Uh, yep. So yep. I guess for me, I don't have a problem as long as we're staying like the employees. You know, we don't get any more than what the employees do. We stay with 4%. I guess that has been. Right. This has been more than Oh, okay. For, for council. Well, I know it's like, I thought uh, Jennifer was looking at possibly looking at their personal I think it's time to consider it. There hasn't been any increase for salary or for council rate in a very long time. Um, as I understand it, we're paid less than other councils, and they meet less frequently than we do, and are also potentially less involved as we are. So, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm supportive of the council getting 4% like we are or whatever. I mean, you guys are the fiscal body, so you can set whatever it is that you want. Um, but I would I would be supportive of that if you want that to be incorporated into the second reading of the ordinance. Um, I mean, ultimately, it's your decision. Tad, you have, Tad, you have something to say? Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. Okay. Tad agrees with the 4%. Uh, okay, we haven't done it. We haven't taken anything for 16 years that I know of, except for the 27th pay thing. So, right. in the way, as long as it stays within the line of what the employees are getting, um, this will be a one time thing or a long time. So, um, I don't have a problem with the 4% increase. I mean, it's on the 4%. Doing my math right. I think it's a Because I know the county makes quite a bit more than that, and that would be worth Yeah, and I think you guys do a lot of a lot of work that uh, other things. But the main piece is $7 a week. But I also believe that we still make more than what a lot of other cities and houses make. So do you want? Um, so we can we can approve it with that noted change, and then we'll come back to the second or second time second reading. And things like that, so. Okay. Do I have a motion to approve ordinance number two thousand twenty three dash twenty one with with the four uh, percent increase for council included? So mayor and clerk were already. In. Yep. 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 So got a motion? Yes, sir. Okay. Motion by Dan. Second. Second by Jennifer. Further discussion? Okay, we'll go to the voice vote. Jenny? Okay. Dan? Approved. Paul? Yes. 
Approved. Jennifer. Approved. Tad. Approved. It is unanimous. We'll move ordinance 2023-21 to second reading at the next meeting. Uh, next up, our department head reports. I'm going to try my best to the virtual lady to figure out how to do this. Um, I'm sorry, did the Terry. Okay. Thank you, Sean. of Sean. Thank you, Sean. Chip. Um, 100 South Sewer Project that Speedy and Shell Building just started uh, started yesterday to move pipe in. They've been working on it today. Uh, bids are getting ready to be advertised for Eagle Park and uh, the trail going out to the high school starting next month. And hope to bid those in just uh, January and Westgate for moving forward on that. Question of Chip. Thank you. Mike. Um, November the 13th, I ordered, I ordered chlorine for the plant uh, for delivery no later than the 17th of November. I got a email from the company saying that they could not supply it that week. And so I asked uh, about the next week. I said, we don't work Thursday and Friday. They said, well, we can't supply it that week either. When I did some calculations, if I hadn't turned the chlorine down a little bit or pre floor we would have ran out Monday. And I got with another company, and they said they could deliver me a tank, a 150-pound tank, which they did. And on the 22nd, I got an email from the company saying they would make the delivery Monday. I didn't get the delivery Monday. I didn't get the delivery today. So I called the company that supplied that backup tank for us and told them they now have our business and to get me 10 tanks in, and they're supposed to have them in the next day or two. And we're going to tell the other company to come get their tanks and be done. The liability with chlorine is really important for our system. <laughs> yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Questions of Mike? Thank you, Mike. Gary. All right. Uh, why did Christmas Parade went very well? A uh, few parking issues down in the 200 block of West Van Buren, uh, which we took care of. Uh, obviously, the safety, there was lots of people down there that night. And the safety of the children was more important than the parking, so that was uh, the first thing. And the last few years, we've been talking about that. So I think it went great and it went well. So uh, we got a pre planning meeting set for. Into this week, RAVE, which is our new mass notification system. Hope to get that implemented and kicked off in January. Uh, received our new pistols, like I told you, uh, was in the last meeting. I think it was. Yeah, meeting, I think it was. Uh, with the red dots on them. Officer Cook and Officer Anderson, or Detective Cook and Officer Anderson's out at the range now doing the training and qualifying on those pistols. And, and lots of positive things, lots of improvement on the accuracy of the officer for shooting. So that's a big plus. Gearing up for the community Christmas, walk right around the courthouse, which is uh, Friday of this week and Saturday. Officer Thomas has taken over the patrol of presence, which I spoke about before. Uh, again, that date is December 16th at Pages Crossing. Uh, I want to just give a shout out to the community that really stepped up this year and got the overwhelming amount of donations and I can't be happy and thankful for that. So, dispatch, running smooth and looking away. Questions of Gary? Thank you, Gary. Mike? Question the mic. Uh, I do have one report, and, and that's from Kelly, who said obviously Santa House is now downtown. Uh, they did last week finish East Side, but the West Side, I'm sorry, East Side for lease pickup, but the West Side of the city, um, the machine that they usually use there had clutch trouble, so they didn't get it completed. Uh, they did start out this week trying to get West Side finished. Uh, with the other machine and uh, obviously hopefully getting the west side machine fixed um, so they're they're working through that but uh, between leaves and you know getting snow plows ready and all that kind of good stuff uh, they've been busy so i want to introduce olivia moore uh who from the youth council go ahead and introduce yourself and let them know what the youth council did i'm olivia moore i'm a sophomore and last meeting we discussed Question of Olivia. Thank you. Perfect. Uh, a couple things for your information. First is uh, our second meeting in December will be December 28th. I think we talked about that, but I wanted to make sure that was on your calendar. <laughs> um, it was scheduled to be the 26th, but it was being the day after Christmas. City Hall's already closed that day because of how the holiday falls. So the 28th is our planned last meeting for Walt, uh, but our last meeting of 2023. Um, a lot of things obviously still happening. Uh, Chip and I met with the retail coach today, uh, our retail coach guy who's working on retail recruitment here in the city. Um, and uh, he had glowing reviews about our community, about the uh, market area, about the um, the cleanliness of our community, 
the traffic volume, all the things that retailers really want to see. Um, no different than when someone moves into a, or wants to build in a neighborhood. Uh, if if the yards next door are full of junk cars and things like that, they're, they're going to be a lot less likely to move in. But if the houses next to them are nice, they're going to be excited about moving in. And and, I, and um, so Kyle had a lot of really nice things to say about our community, and how it was very attractive. Uh, and that, uh, as we all know, that this community has been overlooked by these retailers because of the size of our community, not taking into account the, not taking into account the full market that we're actually attracting, which is actually closer to the 40,000 range, if you will. So that was really great. Um, as again, as Chip said, we you know we we have worked out lots of different grants from the trail to Eagle Park still to uh, Westgate, so we have a lot of dollars that we're going to be expending here soon out of those grants for those projects as they get bid out uh, and get started next year. Um, Besides that, we're going through the insurance meetings uh, citywide with uh, the evaluation process and, and all the things that our department has just really adore. They love this time of year. Um, but the uh, nice thing is, is we're able to hold our insurance rates uh, stable for our employees this year. There's no insurance increases. Uh, there is a deductible increase based on the federal uh, change that happened there, but overall we're able to provide the same benefit for the same price as we did last year, which I think is a really positive thing. Um, besides that, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, I will be at Mayor's School voting up and remembering how I've become a mayor. So, uh, so it'll be fun. It's always great to see the new mayors come in and actually be kind of mentor for them. And, and so it's a great opportunity. I get to present on a couple of things that we're doing here in the city, too. So that's always a great thing. So. Besides that, uh, I will go to uh, Tad, and then I'll go to Jennifer. So Tad, do you have anything for council? I have nothing. OK, Tad has nothing. Jennifer? I, of course, have things. Of course. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of the city departments that were involved in uh, helping with the Christmas parade and with Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much everyone, I think, in one way or another, helped to make that a fantastic event. Um, you were there, you saw just how many people came out for it, and it's a really beautiful thing yep. to, to see and to enjoy as a community. Um, so thank you to everybody who, who stepped up and made that happen. Um, also, I want to bring up the annual municipal Christmas decorating contest. Yes. Hopefully people have their decorations up. Um, I'm pretty sick right now, <laughs> and uh, so I'm not out judging, but... It's coming. It's coming, it's yes. Coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, so some of us that haven't gotten our, our lights up yet have a little bit of a reprieve thanks to your illness. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I will be back and out there and ready to look at lights probably in about two days. Okay. So, okay. So, yeah, I, I would hope that people will have their lights up and ready by the weekend that sure. we can get those signs out there and start checking out the winners. So, Excellent. Um, also wanted to give some direction if people have done something fantastic and they feel like we need to see it right away, contact me. Uh, you can send a message to my city email, which is jromano at corbaycity.net, um, or call or, you know, whatever, just get word to us. We obviously do try to drive around to every street in the city, and that is very, very time-consuming, but um, if you can kind of give us a heads up that we got to go look at one or the other, feel free to recommend your neighbors if you think they've got a fantastic display. Like, this is open to everyone, so get involved there. Great. Anything else? Um, I think there was, but I can't. Oh, I'm looking forward to the, um, the AIM events that are coming up for elected officials. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fantastic opportunity to brush up and get ready for the next term. So okay. I'll be looking forward to that. Great. Thank you very much. So again, as a reminder to the public, you have Christmas lights that you want to be a part of the, uh, uh, part of the Christmas decorating contest. We try to hit every street, but if you have a really special thing that you want uh, the the elves to uh, to take a look at, make sure you email Jennifer to call me. So thank you, Walt. I have no. Dan. Jenny. Okay. Uh, no press. Audience. <coughs>
Anything else? Hearing none, we will call the meeting adjourned. Thank you. My wife got to say that.